welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to show you around the new B image editor. So I've opened up an email that we've previously created in B Pro, and I'm going to show you how to edit this image, which I actually got from this free stock library in B. But you can use the image editor on any image, including one that you upload yourself. Uh, so all you have to do is go ahead and click on the image you want to edit, hit apply effects and more, and it'll open up the image editor for you. And you're probably familiar with a lot of these tools, um, but we can go through them and I'll show you a little bit about what you can do. You can apply any kind of filter you want in here, and if you want to change it, you just exit out. You can also layer them and see what funny things show up, and then to undo it, go ahead and exit them out again. Anything you're happy with, go ahead and just hit apply and you'll be all set. You can also resize the image, making it smaller, um, uh, right to your specifications, and you can crop it too. You can use, again, your own specifications. You can drag and drop the size here, or you can use the buttons or some combination. It's really easy. You can also transform, which means changing the orientation, flipping it vertically or horizontally. And then you can add a bunch of things too. You can draw right on your image, you can add text, you can add shapes or stickers or a frame around it. I'll show you how to use text just as an example. Just hit add text here. And then the last thing, last option here after all the things that you can add to the image itself are the corners. So if you adjust the radius, it'll blacken your corners so you get these curved edges. That works especially well if you have a black background in your email itself. So whenever you're finished making all the edits you want to your image, go ahead and save it. It'll be saved right into your email and you're ready to go.